Hello and welcome to Rootskits. This is a stash ads video. Uh, just to show you, I suppose, what I've purchased recently. Um, stuff of my liking, so to speak. Uh, so let's crack on and I'll show you what I've added to my stash. So here's the first of six kits I think I've got so it's a Lotus Type 79 racing car from 1978 always loved the look of this car when I started watching racing so it was a nice cheap kit highly detailed um can't wait to get into it really there are f there is sorry not all, there is photo etch available for this kit as separate. I haven't bought it, but I should probably do so at some point. Because I think it will make the car look just that a little bit more tastier. Next up is, is the Fujimi kit of the Shelby 427SC Cobra. It looks a fantastic kit inside the box. Plenty of detail. Full engine. Yeah, I am looking forward to putting this one together. Next up is the Ford GT40 Mark II 1966 Le Mans. Uh, this is a Fujimi kit as well. This looks quite interesting because this is a uh, curbside kit, so there's no actual engine. Uh, you can make this number three as shown on the front of the box, or I believe it's number six. Is the other version with a uh, yellow front nose. Looks detailed enough. Not too complicated. Um, another one that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on to. Now, I would have probably gone for the Meng version of this, but when you're talking hundreds of pounds compared to 30 pounds for a, I think it's a 24th scale or 125th scale kit. Don't read Japanese, so. Yeah, looking forward to this one. This might even be my next build. It doesn't get overshadowed by one of the further ones which I've picked up. The next kit up is it's Ravel 69 Camaro or Camaro, I don't know how to say that, Z28 RS. Um, I have another version of the Camaro which I've already built. Um, but this one has got a custom headlight grill set in it, so it makes it different to the other one that I've already built. I know how detailed this this little car is. There's lots of parts in there. Um, it does make a nice little kit. I might even paint it the yellow, to be honest with you. Looks nice. It's got that big long hood scoop on there. So yeah another one I'm looking forward to and my next kit is so this is MPC's 79 Pontiac Firebird in 1 16th scale you'll have to excuse the shaky camera that's holding in my hands um, I've heard some horror stories about this kit with the bodywork etc not fitting properly but that's why we're modelers we make stuff fit this will probably either be sold with the brown firebird or black with a blue and red firebird but not quite sure but yep looking forward to having a tackle on that one Okay, so the next one is, uh, this is the Matchbox AMT 
1957 Ford Thunderbird. This is also in Bic 116 scale. Got this dirt, dirt cheap. Because it had a broken part. Which actually it's had broken parts. One was the top rail holding a windscreen. And the other part was the side rail for the little vent window on the right door. Okay, sorry for the uh, shaky hands, but look at that. That is AMT's Budweiser Clydesdale 8 horse hitch with wagon. Little man and a doggy called Bud. Silly prices these go on eBay. Because this is missing two horses, um, instead of paying potentially between a uh, hundred and two hundred pound for this kit, I got this kit for thirty five pounds. I'm not sure that is in dollars, but that's dirt cheap. I then went on the internet and discovered two horses which I bought from the USA I think they were for six dollars for the pair shipping was about twenty something dollars so um, I think I paid another ten for import um, and they should be here later on this month hopefully um, I am so so looking forward to doing this one. Yep, this is what's coming up in the future. So yeah, that's it. Um, might as well do a couple of shout outs while I'm at it. David Parsley's custom scale emergency models. Um, wow, what can I say? If you want to learn about emergency vehicles, go and give that guy a follow. Go and sub to that man's channel. They are some awesome, awesome emergency car, uh, car and truck build, police vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks. Yeah, what, what an amazing, amazing channel that one is. Man, model cars with Glenn. Does mostly gases. If you fail to even smile at this guy's rhetoric as he's uh, in his videos, then oh, you've got no soul, man, because he is so funny. Go and give that guy a, guy a look and a, and a sub. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um model car videos Matt from model cars videos um love his content brilliant content but yeah very very cool channel blue ox model shop another very very good channel I think his latest video is on a 67 Corvette I think that's what he's making very nice guy loves his uh, well I don't know if they're hot rods or gases as well but loves all that in big engine and drag racing type stuff very nice guy very nice guy should go and seek him out as well give him a sub um, we've got the scale model car guys channel um sean he is a master huge collection of cars if you go and see him he's very down to earth very down to earth he tells us tells it as it is he makes fantastic builds scale model car guys channel brilliant channel go and check him out subscribe to the guy as well uh bg's model workshop brian yeah another brilliant channel does all sorts of stuff, uh, sci-fi, uh, fantasy, 
Uh, he likes Gundam. Um, he's car he loves his cars. He loves his trucks. Uh, that's all I can think of at the moment for shout outs. But you know, go and go and give these guys a a subscribe. Go and watch their content. They are absolutely fantastic. This is Ritz Kits. Enjoy your hobby, happy modelling, and thank you once again for my subscribers. I appreciate you all. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and putting up with my rambling. Bye for now.